Hood Rich Magazine was rich in your hood. Let's check out the interview with The Breakfast Club and later Thunstown founder, Michael Tucker. Now explain to Lee the guns down. Fortunately, was actually started after my oldest son was killed in 2005 by a New York City police officer. Mm -hmm. And instead of being upset and, you know, being seen as another angry black parent that lost a child, I wanted to be able to do something. So I teamed up with a few people. One of the uh, people that I reached out to immediately were the New York Giants after they had the situation with Plexico Burst. Mm -hmm. And I thought that we would be able to help each other out, them showing that they were serious about gun violence and me having an organization, <coughs> excuse me, being able to use that to promote exactly what we were doing, which was to try to educate people and get people to really think about what they were doing because we are losing too many people in regards to gun violence. So right. Justin Tuck, Dominic Hickson, and Trail Rose uh, were some of the players that did the public service announcement for my organization. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything to, uh, to go against the uh, NYPD? Or? Um, actually, there's currently still an investigation of pending suit that's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a grandson, Stefan Crawford Jr., um, and it was more about him making sure that he was all right and making sure that what happened was addressed. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what happened, if you don't mind telling us? Well, I can't really get into it, but it was an accident, accidental shooting, mm -hmm. and that's basically how they clarified it. It was supposed to be a questioning situation, but something happened, and um, my son lost his life, you know. Why, so why? I can see I'm very nervous. I get really emotional so, when I'm talking about okay. And so on Monday, you do, you do have a, a vigil? Yes, Monday, uh, September 4th makes actually eight years since, I mean, so November, November 4th. <laughs> November so, 4th actually makes eight years since my son was killed. And uh, we're doing a candlelight vigil. Anybody that lost a victim to gun violence is welcome to attend. You know, we don't want thousands of people, but a few people, if y'all come out, show y'all support. The vigil is going to be actually on Hendricks and Fulton, mm -hmm. and it starts at 7 p.m. And we just want people to come out, bring a candle. You know, it's for everybody who lost someone to gun violence. Right. Now, do you think that guns should be illegal and off the streets, or do you think that we need to educate kids? I think we need to educate kids more and figure out a way to really create more positive programs. One of the things that we are liking in the communities are resources for the young men and for them to be able to do things. You know, if they don't have money and there's a drug dealer that's out there in the corner that said, look, I'll give you $300, it's going to take you 10 minutes to do this. But what they're not telling them is that for that $300 that they get caught, they're in for a world of hurt for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to, like I said, really create more programs. That's why I have Mr. Vanoy Yards here, who is an extraordinary producer, who is currently working with me, excuse me, on the album that we're using to raise. Yeah, we are year. actually um, trying to help out and do our part as well, because we do have our concert this Saturday at the Barclays Center, wow. Powerhouse. Yes. And we do have something for you and for some of uh, the members of the uh, the Lay the Guns Down. Wow. That's great. Can we ha do we have something, Envy? Uh, I don't have it. <laughs> you don't have it. No, I don't have it. Oh, we get some water? Can you get some water for yeah, me? Yeah, you know, we don't want no water. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, we do have a sold out concert that's about to happen that you can't even get tickets for. Now, I gave well. Charlemagne something. Charlemagne acting like he ain't got nothing. <laughs> wow. Who has the tickets? The only reason I'm acting like this is because we ain't get our tickets yet. But since you're going to be called, brother, here are uh, 20, 20 tickets to our wow. sold out powerhouse concert. There better be 20 in there. Count them. I'm a count them. I was a trouble. I was a trouble you, too, and I still am kind of trouble. I can't get Y'all really <laughs> 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 just don't understand the great job that y'all up here doing. I mean, y'all wouldn't believe how many times that I've been on the phone talking to y'all. Mm -hmm. I've talked to y'all when Heavy D passed away. Mm -hmm. I've talked to y'all when Whitney Houston passed away. We actually had a great conversation, word for word. I can tell you what you said. Mm -hmm. My uh, comment was that, you know, the people that's around Whitney 
and just around these stars in general need to speak up. And that's what my job is in regards to families and speaking out for people who lost loved ones against gun violence. Don't just use us. Remember that we have families as well. Mm -hmm. right. And, you know, you see certain situations and you see cameras and stuff there. Be there all the time. Just right. don't be there because the cameras and stuff are there. Right. You have to be there checking on that family. I mean, like I said, people say and do things. But, you know, my point was that people really need to be you know, respectful to each other. People really need to tell people the truth. Like, right. dog, that's not, that's not cool. Don't that's not good. Me. You know, exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't ride with me because things are going good. Because the person that's to the left of you and to the right of you, those are the people that's not going to be there when you're dead and gone and in jail. Right. So you have to think about that. But like I said, you said, brother, you're right. You know, people really need to tell each other the truth. Absolutely. And I respect that. I respect the show for y'all being honest and definitely. Definitely giving me this opportunity to come up here and shake and be real nervous. Well, no, we appreciate you for what you're doing for the community. And, you know, we are very sorry for your tragic loss, you. but it's good that you're turning that into something that can help other people. Absolutely. And I just I have one, one, one request. Go ahead. I brought my theme music, so we have a little surprise for you, Michi. Oh, for me? Yes, absolutely. But no. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll probably do that. Right. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm just, not the proposal type. Uh, he did something is that special. Is that a dildo? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is kind of big. Brother. This is, is kind of big. Dildo. Charlamagne's head bigger. It's something new. Whoa. Y'all see me at the concert. Don't act like y'all don't know me. Yeah, because Envy acted going, like he didn't know you just I, now when no, you walked he in. Didn't do that. He, you know, it was a lot going on. He was like, hey, Envy, right. remember we. As soon we... as I said it, he <laughs> remembered. I'm going to act like I don't know if you, you know you if you don't got no suit on. If you come in there dressed like the old man in the club, yeah, trying to I do this all the time. Okay, you know, okay I do this well, all the time. Yeah, before I, before I get into it, I like to um you know explain my role in the organization. Um, you know, I produce like he said for a lot of the theme music, and uh, you know my my I guess position is to relate the organization to the people who you know relate to music. A lot of the times you you have causes that are good causes, and people should actually be in tune with. But a lot of time people don't want to hear it unless it has something to do with what they're dealing with their culture. And, you know, the hip-hop culture is pretty relevant in our community. So, you know, music is, is the general language that links everybody together. And it's something that you can actually use to bring everyone together. Mm -hmm. But, you know, on that note, you know, I do, I'm, I am an artist as well. And I sing R&B music. So, you know, my sound is not necessarily as, you know, lay the guns down as his stuff. He's trying to get like, right. yeah, He's looking at Angela Yee like, 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 I'm trying to get this. Well, no, because it'd be, <laughs> awkward, it'd be awkward for him to look at you or Envy. I mean, yeah, I couldn't. For the song that I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now, it's not that type of thing here. So. Look me in the eye while you sing. <laughs> Look at Charlamagne. <laughs> I ain't never going to start getting my pineapple. Right now. <laughs> Don't look at Envy though, he's taking it. So don't, don't look at Envy? Yeah, he's taking Oh Aw, man, you messed it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I go. All night I've been chilling, trying to keep it to myself. Second guessing whether to approach you. Beauty all around me, but I see nobody else. Baby, I want you. I don't even need to know your name. No, I'll call you baby. Only if you with it, if you want it, say yeah, yeah. You could be my girlfriend if you'd like. Be my girlfriend if you'd like. Or be my girlfriend for the night. Be mine, be mine. I need a girlfriend for the night. So be my girlfriend for the night. Be my girlfriend for the night. Be mine, be mine. I just need you. Goodrich Magazine. Goodrich Magazine.